Dear friends, I hope this message finds you well. So many beautiful psukim and so many beautiful mitzvahs contained in Parsha Surah in Perak Yudalid Posik Aleph, chapter 14, verse 1, Moshe Rabbeinu says to Klal Yisrael the following, You are sons, children, to Hashem your God. And this Pasuk itself has a number of different meanings. Lo tiskodadu, on a most basic level, means do not lacerate yourself. Do not lacerate yourself. It was a common practice amongst the Gentile nations that upon the death of a loved one or someone who was important, so people would lacerate themselves. They'd cut themselves. So lo tiskodadu, do not lacerate yourself. Velosa simu karcha bein enechem lames. And do not go ahead and literally pull out your hair. Literally means make a bald spot. Do not pull out your hair out of a sign of mourning for the dead. So of course, on the most basic level, the, the essence of the Pasuk is like Baruch Hu telling us, you're my children, right? You are, you are all my children, Chodesh Baruch Hu says to us. And we believe in Olam Habo, we believe in the world to come. And as such, as much as we are meant to mourn for the loss of loved ones, our mourning must be moderated. Our mourning must be controlled. But the great tzaddik, the Rishon Rabbi Sola Rajin, explains that the true profundity in this Pasuk is not to be found in the last phrase, but rather is to be found in the first phrase. You are children, you are sons to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And this in and of itself is such a dramatic statement because our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu is described in so many different ways. We're described, he's a shepherd and we're the flock, like we say in the davening of Yamim Noraim, Avinu Malkeinu, a father, a king, a master, a servant. So many different relationships that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the king of kings, the Melech Malchei Amlochim, has with us. And the Rishon says, how incredible is it in this Pasuk that the Rebbe refers to us as his children. Banim atem la Hashem And the Rebbe says something amazing. The Rebbe says, who is the Pasuk referring to? Moshe is saying to Kalal Yisrael, you are children of HaKadosh Baruch You are Banim. You are sons of the Rebbe Shalom. Who? Who are sons? Is it the Tzadikim, the righteous? Is it the Tamidi Chachamim? Is it the men, the women, the children? Who is it that are considered to be the children of HaKadosh Baruch Hu? And the Rishoner says something so simple yet so profound. Kol B'nei Yisro. Every Jew, every Yid, is considered to be a child, a son, a daughter of the Ribbon Shalom. Bein Tovim or Bein Ra'im. Whether a person is righteous or whether a person is wicked, Banim Heim Lamakom. Every single Yid, every single Jew is considered to be a child of the Ribbon Shalom. Amich Kulam Tzadikim. The nation of Israel, all Tzadikim. Ultimately, even the, the literally geruim, literally the most disparaged, the most despicable amongst them, is filled with mitzvahs like a pomegranate is filled with seeds. The Rebbe is saying, you know, sometimes you look at a Pasik and in your mind you think to yourself, okay, who are the children of HaKadosh Baruch Hu? The Tzadikim, the Tamidi Chachamim, the Rabbanim, the Gaonim, the Neshei Chayol, the people who are special, the people of Mitzuyonim, and says Rishner, no, 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 that's not what the Pasik is saying. Banim Atem HaShem Al-Kechem, who? Kol B'nei Yisrael, Bein Tovim, Bein Ra'im, Afilu HaGiruim, every single person is a child of the Ribbon Shalom, every Yid, is a Ben, is a Bas of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You know, we always read Parsha Re'e before Chodesh Elo. It's always, often it's, often it's it literally could either be Rosh Chodesh Elo or right before Rosh Chodesh Elo here, Rosh Chodesh Elo will be on Thursday night. And I think this message always comes before Chodesh Elo for the simple reason, that a lot of times when Elo comes, for many of us, Elo comes with a wave of guilt. Elo comes with a wave of inadequacy or a feeling of inferiority. I don't measure up. I made so many promises to change so many things last year, and you know what? I just didn't come through. I didn't come through. I didn't. Do, and not because I couldn't, just because I didn't. I didn't. And all of the mistakes, or many of the mistakes that I said I was never going to repeat again, I did it again this year. And so often Elo comes with this feeling of overwhelming dread. This heaviness, this heaviness, is there a heaviness to Elo? Sure, a year is coming to a close, a new year is ahead of us. We know not what that new year brings. So much is going to be decided over the course of the next few weeks. We know that apt, there is a heaviness, but not a dread. The dread, the sadness often comes because I feel I don't measure up. 
And so every single year on the Shabbos before Rosh Chodesh Elul, we read this simple phrase, Banim Atem Lashem Elokechem. You are children, not servants. Not servants. You are children of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I said, Zak the original, who are children? Kol B'nai Yisrael. It's the ultimate statement of confidence. That even when we mess up, which we all do, and even when we make mistakes, which we all do, and even when we don't live up to our potential, which most of us do, right? Even with all of these things, with all of these things, we never abdicate or give up that position of being a child of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Just like a parent learns to love their child unconditionally, even though very often our children give us a run for our money. And there are times when we may not even like our children all that much, but we always love them. We never stop loving them, and we certainly never stop being their parent, and we most certainly never stop thinking of them as our child. That's our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We are always children no matter how much we mess up. So as we go into this Shabbos Mavarchim Elul, and we get ready for the beautiful last month of the year, and we get ready, Amir Hashem, for a month of dynamic avod, of opportunities to accomplish so much in such little time, let us dispense with the feelings of guilt, the feelings of dread, and let us just always remember, like the visioner says, Banim Atem Hashem Elokeichem, Kol B'nei Yisrael, Bein Tovim, Bein Ra'im. Whatever you have or haven't done in the past year, one thing is clear. You are HaKadosh Baruch Hu's child and He loves you more than you could ever imagine. Take that love and let it bolster you with the confidence to accomplish everything that needs to be done in the month ahead. Wishing everyone a good night of Shabbos and a beautiful Shabbos Kodesh.